All right, this lecture is on intake and output calculations. Our objectives are going to be accurately calculating intake and output and then putting it together for a total daily I's and O's. So what constitutes an intake? Um, anything that you take in. So food, oral liquids, Two feedings are in this category. We even count IV fluids as this in this category, and ice chips are also counted, but they're counted as a half volume because a lot of that is just air. So always just remember that the ice chips are half of that volume. Okay, so output it calculates anything that comes out of the patient's body. So that could be urine, emesis, so vomit, um, diarrhea, or anything else is coming out like through a drain, an ostomy bag, or an NG tube. There's multiple ways of course that we can collect that urine in a bedpan, um, a urinal, a foley, or what we call collection hats that sit in the patient's um, toilet for when they urinate. So calculating the difference you just take your intake always intake first minus your output and then that gives you your number for your total daily um, calculations. If it's a positive number, then that of course means that your input is more than your output. Um, and we need to look at possibly that there's an issue of the patient retaining either some sort of kidney problems or um, heart failure or any other reason that they might be retaining that fluid. If it's a negative number, then that means that there's more output than input. So we need to look at that as either, or is that what we're trying to do? We're diuresing them because we put them on a, a Lasix or um, furosemide or anything like that to make them pee out more because they were retaining, or are we at risk for dehydration at this point? So here's an example of a positive calculation. You have your intake for the patient now has um, drank 700 milliliters of fluid. They have gotten 1,250 milliliters through their IV. So their total intake added up is 1,950. Now at the same time frame and their output, they put out 940 milliliters of urine. They did vomit 50 milliliters. And so their total output would be 990 milliliters. So their balance is a positive 960, so they took that 1950 minus the 990, so they have a positive balance of 960. So we're hoping by the end of the shift that this should equal out eventually. Sometimes a couple hundred difference is um, kind of negligent. It's user error because we're guesstimating, especially on oral fluid intakes. But when you get into the multiple hundreds like this, is almost a whole liter that is missing, then we might need to be concerned. So this is an example of a negative calculation. So there, this patient's intake, they got 100 milliliters of fluid um, orally, and they got two feedings of 480 milliliters. Um, but during that same time frame, they uh, urinated 640 milliliters, and through their drain, their hemovac drain, they drained 400 milliliters from them. So their total intake was 580 milliliters but their output was over a thousand so a thousand and forty milliliters so that gave a negative balance of 460 so that 580 minus 1040 because remember you always start with your intake minus your output so that gave the negative balance so we want to then verify what's going on with this patient and see if this is appropriate or are we um, at risk for dehydration at this point.